Imagine waking up every day to a space that inspires you to relax or get your best work done. Welcome to my multifunctional home office, where I build my business, design, read, film videos, chill and rest. These are my setup in the past when I lived in a rented property. Then, I moved into my own home. My home office started off like this. Very minimal renovation was done to this space as I'm on a budget. So I hired renovators to paint the walls, renovated the ceilings, changed the lights, the flooring. The vision for my home office is bright, cozy, productive, and multifunctional. Every space is different. So the space of my home office is tailored to four factors. The layout of the space, the large sun-drenched windows, the hot and humid weather. Our lifestyle changes as we continue to evolve. My furniture should be multifunctional and modular so I can easily move things around. To design the space of my home office, I mix and match images of furniture colors, patterns and textures that reflect the style that I want to achieve. I've tried out different combinations until I found the right layout for my home office. To do all these, I use Miller Note, the sponsor of today's video. This board helps me to plan my ideas easily and bring my vision to life. I can write notes, create checklists, annotate, and make quick sketches all in one place. Whenever I see an inspiration for my home office, I save it using the Miller Note web clipper, drag it, and it's in my mood board. You can choose from hundreds of templates for free, like UI UX design, filmmaking, and brainstorming. This tool is super easy to use. You can also share your work with others, collaborate in real time to gather more inspiration. Sign up to Miller Note for free using this link and start organizing your creative project. I went with white walls as the safest option. To add life to the space, a variety of plants fill almost every corner. Whether they're artificial, dry, alive, barely alive, I love them all. I managed to keep these two alive for more than a year. To further add character to the space, I showcase my favorite figurines. Each of them has a story. That's what makes them special. I want to get into the habit of reading, so I keep books within arm's reach. A trick I've learned is to motivate myself to read for just 5 minutes, and often I end up reading for longer than I initially planned. Yesterday, my friend Artyom sent me these books across the globe. Here, we have my rubber wood height adjustable desk. It allows me to adjust the perfect table height for different situations. When food coma hits, standing keeps me awake and alert, especially if I have meetings to attend. I added heavy-duty wheels to the table so I can move it around. When the weather gets hot, I move the table away from the windows. I bought these stick-on cable management trays online so I don't need to drill any holes into my table. It's large and strong enough to hold all these. I docked my MacBook on the Grove Made Maple Wood Dock. The merino wool felt lining protects my MacBook, and the beautiful craftsmanship adds a warm touch to my space. Last year, I switched to the 14-inch M1 MacBook Pro with 32 gigs of memory. I have zero complaints about it. The fan is silent, the performance is tip-top, and I just love how the classic silver color looks. Connected to my MacBook is my 4K monitor. It comes with the ergo stand with cable management built-in. The resolution is good enough for UI UX design as I can see design details on Figma and the color is accurate. The only complaint I have is that my eyes still feel tired if I stare at the monitor for a while. This yoga block is also my footrest and multifunctional. The Herman Miller Mira 2. I sit in this chair from morning till night and I experience zero discomfort. To keep things organized, I have the large Grove Mate desk shelf made with maple plywood and natural cork. On top, I have their pen holder, which only contains stationery that I use often. The HomePod Mini has a small footprint. I use it to control my lighting, listen to podcasts, airplay music from my MacBook, or just chat with Siri when I'm absolutely bored. In a desk shelf, I have my notebooks, a to-do list, AirPods Pro, solid state drive. Say hello to my latest fascination. It's a cup warmer. It's compact enough to hide under the shelf. It warms my beverage almost immediately. This phone stand is super versatile. I can place my phone, my iPad, a to-do list, a remote control. So to charge my phone, I use this cable, connect it to my laptop, and I'm done. Beside it, we have the Growth Mate Maple Wood Dish. 
I'm using the Apple Magic Trackpad paired with the sleek Apple Magic Keyboard. They're all wireless and I charge it using the same cable that I use to charge my phone with. If I'm in the mood for a mechanical keyboard, I use the Keychron K3 wireless mechanical keyboard with red Gateron switches. Meet my multifunctional IKEA trolley paired with a bamboo chopping board as the lid. Yes, this is a chopping board. When filming, it stores my camera gear for easy access. I attached multifunctional crab clamps and magic arms to the side of this trolley. It holds my camera monitor and audio recorder. I had these wardrobes custom made to fit not only my clothes and stuff, but also filming gear like my tripods and light box. These side cabinets also stores my filming gear, organized in Ziploc bags and labeled with washi tapes. At night, you will find me at my desk working on projects that I love. Lighting creates atmosphere. My lights are connected to my phone. I can dim the lights and adjust the color temperature so that it doesn't strain my eyes. So I try to match my monitor brightness with my room lighting. These lights are from IKEA, but I swap the light bulbs with the Xiaomi Mi Smart Light Bulb. My bedside lamp is the Mi LED desk lamp. I also carry a pair of blue light glasses wherever I go. It helps to relieve migraines and eye strain. To relax, I love natural room sprays with essential oils. A blend of the right essential oils gives us different benefits, like helping us to relax or improve focus. But if I were to only choose one, I'd go with Aesop's Ginger Flight Therapy. When I feel nauseous or stressed, I smell it or apply it directly onto my neck and wrist. Designing my home office will always be a fun, ongoing project. At the end of the day, our home office should be relaxing, inspiring, and makes us happy, no matter how our lifestyle evolves over time. The links to my home office setup are in the description. Thank you for visiting my home office, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!